right, so here's an unboxing of the TurboSmart Compact Shorty Dual Part Blow Off Valve for the R56 Mini Cooper 2007 through 2010 S. And I do believe it will fit the JCW. Let's see what we got inside the box. Cool TurboSmart stickers. Boost port adapter. This goes underneath the map sensor. The bag of connectors. Looks like we got some hex screws, some uh, clamps, one of these. I already know what this is. I bought a cheap dual, uh, boost port adapter and it came with one of these, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Got some zip ties. The actual unit. Let's take a look at this. Pretty solid construction. It's really exactly what I was expecting from the picture. Oh, it's hard to push too. You can see here's the port for the recirculation and then the port for the Venta Atmosphere. The Recirc and Venta Atmosphere. What I assume is going to happen is under low boost, it's just going to open up a little bit and only do a recirc which would probably be a lot quieter and under higher boost to open all the way and vent the atmosphere giving us more of a chirp noise that's pretty nice oh. and it is adjustable from harder to softer I do like that some vacuum holes pretty much exactly what I was expecting and we have this this is actually a very important part because this is going to connect to the car where the computer tells the stock uh, diverter valve to open. Right now, I have installed the forge blow-off valve, vent atmosphere. One thing I don't like about that is that it is completely controlled by the computer still. It does have vacuum lines, but it is not vacuum actuated. So. So I assume that this is going to be a very important part if you want to, I don't know, start tuning, get a, a different aftermarket setup for uh, your blow-off or recirc. So yeah, if TurboSmart sold this separately, that would be awesome. Cool. And we have the uh, mini CD with the instructions, I assume. So I have not looked at this yet, so we're gonna, I'm going to take a look at this and then I'll show you how to... I would install, but before I do so, I want to talk about this. So we got some uh, vacuum line fittings with this. I want to talk about this right here. I hope they don't expect me to put this in the map sensor, the, yeah, where the uh, boost port adapter is, which it looks like they are. I don't want, look how coarse that thread is. This is like a wood screw. I don't get it. I've had one of these when I bought a cheapo off of eBay. And, I, and that's all they expected me to put that on my car. I did not. I actually went out and bought the Craven Speed boost port adapter. So, we'll take a look at that. And then I'll uh, give you an assessment. But I'm very excited about this. Because it won't be as noisy. And it'll give you a chirp when you're actually under higher boost. Which would be awesome. And you can turn it up so it's actually got some a little bit of tunability feature. It's pretty, it's kind of heavy for uh, what it is, but if you think about it, it's big, man, that's hard to push. Well, I'm gonna go install it after I watch the video. And the previous, well, what I have right now is the Forge Atmospheric Blow Off Valve. It's right here, right underneath this, uh, right at Turbo Inlet. Now, if you have the aftermarket KNN intake then you know pretty much how to take it off to clamps and everything but I want to show you what's going on up here with the turbo smart kit the one thing I don't like is the bolt they provide to replace this because if you see it needs to be longer in order to make up for that space I'm gonna continue using the one that I have just because I don't really feel like putting that really super coarse thread bolt in there but what's happening here with the forge, 
is it is vacuum action it is vacuum powered it goes to this solenoid here which is where the vacuum in this one goes to the blow off this one also goes to the blow off but here is the connector from the computer so it is still computer controlled I'm gonna pull this out and put them side by side so you see what the difference is between the forge atmospheric blow off valve and the turbo smart dual port Here's the difference between the two. This is the forge blow off valve vent atmosphere. Same setup for the upgraded recirc. It's got, comes right from the boost tap, just like this one. But if you notice the, the turbo smart, boom, that's it. They get rid of this whole solenoid uh, system here, which I don't understand why they would do that. And Turbo Smart has just replaced it with this. It's a bypass. It's exactly what it is. See the same thing here. Got a lot of a lot of dry rot here because this is right by the turbo. The install is a heck of a lot simpler. Just bolt it on to the turbo and plumb it back to vacuum source. That's it. Plug that into your original diverter valve plug. It's I don't understand why Forge had to complicate everything by adding this. I mean, granted, it doesn't have a check engine light. I don't know if this one will yet, because it's used to the computer controlling everything. I'm not trying to knock Forge. It's a, it's a quality product. It really is. It's just that it's annoying. It really is. Every time you let off the throttle, even if you're not even in boost, I've had negative 10 vacuum. And it's it's still it it gets old, so that's why I chose the dual port. So hoping to eliminate that issue, give it more of a sporty sporty sound to it. Go ahead and install this, get some drive video, and uh, let you know what I think. Smart dual port compact blow off valve for the R56 Mini Cooper. I like it. I got exactly what I was hoping for. A pretty easy install, and I got when you when you shift, it's not absurdly loud. Granted, when it actually vents to atmosphere, it's not very loud. The forge is known to just be abrasively loud and head turning, but this you get that little bit of that subtle flutter when you shift just a little bit and I really like it because that's exactly what I was hoping for give you that really high performance sound it's not gonna make your car faster it's got about the same throttle response as the forge because it has that spring that slaps shut that slaps that that uh, port shut but it's it's a mini what do you expect it's a 1.6 liter with a small turbo I recommend this product I definitely do I like it but we got to talk about that screw that they gave us with the map, with the uh, boost tab. Turbo Smart, you got to do better than that. That's that's a rookie. That's a rookie deal. That's an eBay. That's something you find you would expect from eBay, not from Turbo Smart. 
But other than that, I give it a 9 out of 10. It's freaking awesome. I love it. I just put it on. I have done none ad no adjustments with that previous test drive. I just basically right out of the box, throw it on, put it back together, and go for a drive. And, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to leave it at that. I don't know if I will tighten it up maybe in the future. But I like it the way it is. Just that little bit of, little bit of flutter. Love it. Definitely recommend this product. Check out TurboSmart.com for more information.